And we are now joined by someone who has made a comeback today, Levon Aronian. What a uh, an insane ending to the day. What's your reaction after that game? Okay, I've been uh, playing my worst chess today. Uh, I think uh, I kind of tilted at some point, uh, especially in the second game against Anish. I was mm. playing so slowly and lost a very harmless position. And uh, yeah, then things went sour from from there on. But of course, uh, to get this lucky in a moment when you, you don't really deserve it, uh, yeah, it's... it's uh, at least gives me a chance mm. to fight for qualification. Mm. And, and obviously, Levon, I mean, we're not used at all to seeing you losing three games and, and having a bad position again in, in the last game here. So is it any specific on your mind today, something bothering you that sort of uh, made you not play your best chess today? I kind of didn't remember any opening <clears throat> ideas because I obviously analysed... Uh, even the last position, I, the last game, uh, I just completely forgot. Uh, Rook C1 is, of course, a mistake. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's something to work on. Mm. Something definitely. I mean, because to to get uh, bad positions out of the opening is it's tough to come back from it. Mm. So will you now look over these games, pre preparing for tomorrow? Is it more about forgetting today and and preparing for tomorrow for you? Yeah, I, I think uh, I will try to uh, work on just memorizing things I know because it, you know, uh, when you know a lot of openings uh, and you don't really memorize them, it's like you don't really know them. So, and this is what basically happened today. I don't know all the lines that I've played that I didn't remember a thing. So. I guess instead of analyzing, I will do some memorizing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Levon, I just have to ask you something. Um, so David has been doing challenges for us. So he's tried skiing, didn't go so well. He's also tried ice chess. What would you like to see him try next? <laughs> he <can't. laughs> well, he got into a, a pool of ice and he played some bullet chess. So he was actually he actually won his his game there. <laughs> I think underwater chess. Is yes. Nice. Well, we've been suggested that. Okay, oh. underwater chess. I need to learn how to swim first. <laughs> <laughs> well, Levon, I know you're very like into nature. You're you're hiking a lot, and and the challenge that David did was ice dipping so basically going into ice cold waters um is there something you would be fond of so david said it actually made him very refreshed and, and happy afterwards oh that's the thing i love doing i love going to sauna yeah or a russian bath and then dipping in in the ice that's that's a great joy but um you know david what i what i like doing i challenge many of my friends to do that we actually playing blindfold chess while running or doing uh, some exercises at the same time. Wow. Wow, how does that work? It's interesting because uh, at some point, of course, when you're sprinting uh, and your heart is pumping, uh, the biggest problem is that you cannot really pronounce the moves. <laughs> <laughs> So you're not worried about my pronunciation, my memorization is just pronouncing. Uh... I like it. Yeah, it's a good challenge. Have you, how do you do when you try this, uh, Levon, if, if you tried it? I'm, I'm doing fine. Yeah. I normally, I manage to uh, keep my cool, unlike today, so. <laughs> Maybe you should try tomorrow then, running and playing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go for a run tomorrow for sure. But I today I definitely need to change something in my routine. Yeah, actually, Levon, um, I mean, talking about all of this, it reminds me, I think in 2014 in the Olympiad, actually here in Norway, um, I remember you doing a press-up challenge with one of my friends um, before a party. So maybe one of these days I'll challenge you. Um, to a blindfold exercise challenge. <laughs> and the best thing is, we can do it over 
internet. internet. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't need to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for a second I might have to run next to David and purchase. They're evil. They're scheming against us. It's not fair. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to all of this, uh, Levon, and I'm also looking forward to tomorrow. We are in seventh place, so no doubt a big chance for you to qualify for the knockout. Uh, are you excited about that now to get just finish off this day and, and prepare for tomorrow? Yeah, this uh, this is the type of a day that uh, you need to remember and you need to review the games. You know, uh, just uh, when you're in a really bad mood and things are not working out, then you look at these games and you remember that they're even the worst days. So things are great. Exactly. Well, Levon, good luck tomorrow and thank you so much for joining us with, uh, with some challenges uh, uh, proposals as well. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck.